Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is the roll of white hatch box that's been sitting with that box with the lid stuck on it for um, eight days now. I have not disturbed it or opened it. So um, I'm going to get it out of there and I'm going to print a Benchy with it. Our, my Ender 3 is ready to go. And um, yeah, let's get it out of there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's still some standing water in there. Um, and you see the sponges are still all wet. So I'm going to print a Benchy out of this and we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, we're back. Here is my Benchy. I marked this one really wet. It's the one that came out of the box that I think I'm hoping approximates a really humid environment. And here is the one marked DH. And if you remember, this one really looks pretty good for a 0.2 layer height on a $179 Ender 3. Really would not have too much problems with this. There is no stringing, bridging, overhangs, circles, everything looks fine on it. So here is the one marked really wet. And probably the first thing you will notice is there is a lot of stringing in between all the open areas where all the travel moves are. It is really quite bad. And to my view, my eyesight says that all the exterior surfaces are a little bit rougher. They just don't look quite as good to me. Now, if this was a part for something in your garage or your backyard, you'd scrape the stringing off and you'd move on with life and you wouldn't really care. But um, for an appearance item, there is definitely a noticeable difference. So I've got the scale here. Let's weigh them. Let's see if there's any difference between them. This scale reads out in thousands, but the thousandths digit only reads zero or five. So it's rounding that up to either zero or five. So let's switch it to grams. Let's put on the 100 gram calibration weight. 100 on the nose. Let's start with the one that's dehydrated. And this has been out open, but it's, you know, 16, 18% humidity in the house. So it says, and I have to be careful not to breathe on it because that will change it. It said it is 11.790. Let's try the one marked really wet. And it's coming up 11.790 either. So there is no significant weight difference between them. They are both the same weight. So, what do we take away from this? There really isn't much to take away from it, except for me, I don't need to dry PLA filament. It is just not humid enough where I live that it makes a damn bit of difference. For you guys who live in a really humid environment, if you think that, and, you know, I lived in Seattle in the past for 20 years, so I know what a really humid environment is like. And I don't think it was ever humid enough inside my house in Seattle to, except, you know, a couple times when the roof leaked, to approximate what it's like inside that box with the two wet sponges. But I'm not discounting the fact that there are some of you that actually do live in an environment that humid. If you do, and you're getting this really fine stringing on everything and these really rough surfaces, it is absolutely worth 35 bucks to buy a cheap food dehydrator, print some pieces and put it all together and see if it cures your problem. See if you get better prints. Absolutely worth it and I would do it in a heartbeat if I lived in an environment like that. But for me with PLA, the story is over. I do not need to dry it. You have to make your own decision on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. We're going to move on to PETG next. I've already done some of the video and I already have some PETG out drying. So we're going to figure that one out next. That one might be more interesting than PLA. So hang with me. We'll do that. Maybe we'll learn something new. Thanks and I will catch you guys the next time. Bye for now.